Hey, what's up guys? Mike Patrick. In this video, I want to talk about microbes. Now, microbes is the bacteria in our guts, okay? And really, we have microbes all over our body, okay? There's bacteria, there's life all over our bodies. Microscopic life that you can't see all over your body, inside your body, and just all over, period, on the planet, okay? There's microscopic life everywhere, okay? Now, why is this important, guys? Now, the thing is, you've heard me talk about how you are what you eat, correct? Now, that is literal, guys. You literally are your microbes, okay? Now, the thing about these microbes, guys, how it relates to how you act, how you think, what you do, your health, okay? You, okay, there's certain foods that has that has certain types of microbes, okay? So, for example, if you eat an orange, if you eat a banana, if you eat a pear, okay, if you eat some kale, okay, you eat these things raw and they're not cooked and some of the microbes aren't dead and, 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 uh, and cooked out of the foods, what happens is, guys, these are more complex microbes that are in these foods, okay, because they're whole foods, they're whole living foods that require more microbes and more enzymes in order for your system to break these foods down and to neutral uh, and to give you nutrients with and disperse nutrients throughout your body. Okay. Now the thing about it, guys, is like what type of company do you keep, right? So, um, some people you let's say you keep intelligent company, okay, and you guys talk about uh, uh, you know a wealth of information. Okay, and you do many different things. Let's say you're well versed. Your company is well versed. Uh, you you may you know you may <laughs> be in a book club together. You may go shoot ball sometimes. You may go play some tennis sometimes. You may research um, some diff different scientific things. You just may be well versed. Okay, and so they say birds of a feather flock together, right? And so depending on what type of company you keep, though, if you, let's say you keep drug addicts as company and, uh, and, and and people who do negative things to their body and who talk negative and who, who do negative things, period, okay? Um, you know, birds of a feather flock together, right? So nine times out of ten, you're going to be influenced by those people. So the thing is, guys, with your microbes, right, you literally can take in microbes that will change you, not just from a, a physical standpoint but mentally too okay um if you do your research you'll find out that depending on different bacterias and things that you take into your body through your food okay and um and other ways it affects your mental your brain too that's why they say you know your gut and your brain actually they actually play off of each other okay your gut health determines your your mental health Okay, and, and the, the, uh, the health of your brain in a lot of ways. Okay, guys. And so, but at the same time, if you eat simple foods, okay, then you will get simple microbes, okay, less complex microbes, okay. And therefore, your body does not have all the microbes that it needs in order for you to remain healthy. Okay, so when we eat a lot of processed foods, those foods avoid of a lot of microbes okay because that food has been processed in different ways and things have been extracted and killed certain life forms can't certain microbes can't make it through certain processes okay but when you have whole foods they're full of these microbes and these enzymes okay and they communicate to your body in a different way that's going to um proliferate and to accelerate and and and, and keep you healthy okay now, when you eat these less complex foods, you know, um, the, the, the microbe, the good microbes that you do have in your body, you have to use those in order to break down the foods that are void of certain microbes and enzymes on top of the fact that you're not getting enough of those good complex enzymes. You use them up trying to break down and digest food that's not giving anything back to you. You've heard me talk about things like this before in past videos, okay? So, you want to definitely let, that's a big, guys, this is so tremendous when it comes to our health, okay? Um, a lot, a lot of ailments, a lot of sicknesses have to do with gut 
bacteria, okay? A lot of people are not getting enough enzymes and enough probiotics, okay? In order to facilitate different actions in the body, these microbes interact with your cells, okay? And like I said, depending on what type of microbes you put in your body, it, it, that is dictating what information is being given to your cells and how your cells respond, okay? All right, if I talk to a negative person, I'm getting negative information. And, and if I follow a negative person, then I'm going to do negative things. And that's going to bear its fruit, its rotten fruit. But if I'm talking to a positive person who's doing positive things, right, then that communication is going to accelerate, you know, uh, good fruit, all right, and, and healthy fruit and, and, and vibrant fruit, okay, and fresh fruit, all right? So that's why it's very important guys um that you eat whole foods like i always say okay uh less process that's void of nutrients because the thing is you don't you don't have to eat raw all the time you don't have to eat everything raw but you want to you want to be like man really like maybe 60 40 at least because like i said you got to remember that the more foods that you eat void of enzymes and healthy microbes okay then the more that the microbes that you do happen to get into your diet that are good for you, that are more complex, the, the more you have to use them, okay, to break down and digest that food that's bringing no enzymes and no microbes to the table. Make sense? And that's why people have a lot of um, indigestion and, 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 uh, and colon issues, okay? A lot of people just get backed up over the years of just eating too much food that's void of enzymes and microbes. And you don't have anything to break that stuff down. And a lot of that stuff gets caught and trapped in your colon, in your system. And then at a certain age, now you have colon cancer. Okay, so this is something that's, that can really help. Let me see if anything else that I've, uh, about microbes. Let me see. Just mainly, guys, take that, take that from it, okay? Take the, the fact that microbes are living organisms that has... I guess you can kind of say a consciousness. They have a function, okay? A personality. They have information that they're trans, uh, that is transmitting to your body, okay? And depending on what that information is, it could be healthy, okay? It could be good or it could be bad, okay? And in some cases, there's really, I don't really think there's bad micro, like, I mean, there's, uh, there are bad bacteria. Don't get me wrong, bacteria that <laughs> don't benefit you. But I think it's less about getting bad microbes from foods that are void of it's more so about eating foods that are void of microbes okay um as opposed to you're eating something that like for example if you eat a snickers candy bar right i don't think that it's necessarily giving you bad microbes i don't think it's giving you any microbes it's void of microbes okay and so then that apple that you ate has to work twice as hard not just to break itself down but it has to work extra hard in order to break down that snickers because that snickers didn't bring his own enzymes and microbes to the table okay guys so you can look more into microbes um they even have something called uh they call it fecal microbial um and few um trans transfusion or something like that fecal microbe therapy or something and that's where they take the the uh literally the i know this sounds kind of nasty but the fecal matter of a healthy person with health uh, with a really healthy good gut bacteria and then they they transplant it that's what it's called fecal microbial transplant and they transplant it into the person who needs more healthy microbes okay and a lot of these people start feeling better right away they start thinking better right away and um and they just become healthier so those microbes that that small community look at yourself like the earth and 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 people on the earth is the microbes okay all this living life that we have on this earth but the large body is the earth itself okay now your earth can have destructive people on it that's tearing it tearing the earth up right or it can have you know uh holistic people on it healthy people on people who is um, living in harmony with the earth okay and maintaining the earth and enhancing the earth so it's the same thing you are the earth and depending on your life forms your microbes you know uh that's going to determine how healthy you as a body is okay hopefully this was a helpful video guys peace